Hello YouTube, so today, my camera isn't focusing, today is the very fun yet scary day, we have the mini there, we're going to be taking the head off and attempting the head gas, we got today, tomorrow and Friday to hopefully do it unless we run into any issues, so the mini is here, I'm not going to talk too long, I'm just going to crack on because time is off at the essence, but I'm just going to address a few things, a few people in the comments said, why don't you just drop an engine in it? Um, the engines are really cheap for this car, but when you buy an engine, you don't know what problems that engine's got. So, I'd rather just strip this down because A, it's content for you guys, and B, it's just it's cheap enough. It cost me 150 quid for all the things I need, and that I get some good videos and I get to learn some new things. And also, other people were saying, don't bother cha ta changing the timing chain, they're just a pain in the ass, they're not even worth it, they'll never snap. Uh, thank you to all the mini guys who have messaged me on Instagram giving me advice, I really do appreciate it. Um, these guys in here basically said, do the timing chain they've seen a lot of them snap so yeah let's just crack on uh let's just fucking do it so here is the mini engine bay the first thing we're gonna be doing is jacking the car out, getting it in jack sands because we are gonna be draining the oil and the coolant hashtag co2 water i'm gonna call it but pretty much it's actually not that bad of a job the front end doesn't need to come off you can literally take the whole head off from here. Right, I've spun the car around this way, reversed it in because it's better light in here. Uh, I realised the LEDs were kind of making the camera flicker and stuff, so let's send it. Right, she's in the air. First thing, I'm going to drop the oil and the coolant, but first I'm actually going to take the battery out the boot. And I've actually got my GoPro today, so most of this is going to be filmed on a POV view on my GoPro, so hopefully it comes out well. Right, first big problem, guys. That is the drain plug, and it is rounded to fuck. So, yeah, I'm gonna need a new drain bolt, but first of all, I'm gonna have to find a way to get that fucker off. Right, I've got it loose. I have to uh, whack on a uh, 12 mil really tight, and that's coming now, so. So strangely enough, like, the oil hasn't got any cream in it whatsoever. It's actually quite oily. I expect it to be like a little bit, a little bit creamy, but as you say, this is this just, it just shows that it's uh, it was only on its way out, so because it actually wasn't that bad. I say I drove it all the way home from London with it being fine. So yeah, but I did expect a little bit of cream. Not gonna lie, absolutely mashed, lads. Uh, we're gonna have to pull the intercooler off. There's T30s here, and then there's T30s on the little bracket bits here. Case comes off, intercooler out, and then we can start dealing with the fuel rail and stuff and the manifold. Okay, intercooler off. And you take these little brackets off here. And then we need to pull these brackets off, I think it is. So you've got these little 8mm bolts here, here. Uh, that needs to come off and this thing needs to come off here. So you've got 8mm, 8mm. Right, all these little silly brackets are off the intercooler. So that means the fuel rail is free. So we need to take the fuel rail off here. Might be a little bit of fuel in there. Uh, and then we've got to pull these PCB lines off. Take all these injector connectors off trying to get this fuel rail out and although it's feels super loose um, it's still not popping out of the manifold it's, it's coming just got to just be a little bit more aggressive with it. there we go there's that one out do the same with this one there we go the fuel rail is out and it looks like you can just whip it out of there. There's a fuel rail, vacuum line at the bottom. Do not forget that, that'll be a regulator. <laughs> now this car does actually run really well, so it doesn't run rough or anything, it actually runs super smooth. So I'm not gonna be focusing too much on like injectors and things like that and checking parts, because it does run really well. It's just the coolant is getting in the combustion changer, which is not cool. So I'm just pulling off all the things that are connected to the valve cover now, popping them off using my hand as leverage with it pliers there we go right so everything's out the way the valve cover so this is going to be fun because i've never even had a valve cover off so we're going to see some some cool stuff here we're going to see some cams and some rocker arms and stuff but we need to get all these little eight mils off the side oh some of them i'm actually going to need a, oh i'm going to yeah okay i'm actually quite worried because some of these bolts look really 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 rusty so i don't know if i want to be using this gun like that <laughs> right so i'm just getting the last rocker cover bolt off now they've all been pretty good this but i think there's 10 of them uh eight of them will come off really nicely two 
Uh, this one I've got now, I just had to whack the same size spanner on, so it was just a bit loose. This one down here, I had to whack a seven on. Uh, so, yeah, but they're off now. They didn't really, they they're not really tight. They're just a little bit rusty, that's all. Might need to give it a bit of a pry with a screwdriver, maybe. There she comes. There she goes. Ugh. Thank you, thank you, Adam. There she is. Pretty much no, you know, milkiness. So obviously it's not been gone pretty bad. It's probably just gone, probably just cracked over the chamber where the water's just, you know, the water channel's just going into the combustion chamber. I don't fucking know. Someone's smarter than that than I am. Right, so now that the uh, valve cover is off, we need to start taking the camshaft and take the timing chain off, uh, and we need to start taking, taking the rock around rope. Now to get that, we need to take off the, the camshaft bolt right at the end. Now to get to that, we need to basically, we need to take off the competition sensor. And uh, to get that off, we need to take the engine mount off. So we're gonna need to jack up the engine, we're gonna have to take this engine mount off, then we can get to that sensor. And then from that, we can also take off the competition sensor. Now, the guy on YouTube used a BMW timing tool, and it basically you put it between those two, these two things here. Um, and then that basically locks everything in place and you can loosen it. Uh, but I, I don't know if they've got that there, but if they haven't, we've got two people. So one person can just hold the bottom of the, of the crank uh, and then I can loosen off the cam or I'll put it in gear and hold the brake. And that'll just obviously just you know stop the engine from turning uh, and then you can loosen it. So we've got a couple ways of doing it. Uh, but for now, I need to take off this huge engine mount. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna jack up the engine. I've got a bit of wood on the bottom of the jack. Just jack up the engine just so it takes uh, the weight off the um off the engine mount so we can get these off now i actually bought eddie the iron hell which was a good decision i didn't think i'd need him but i'm glad i brought him and it can just and then that is the engine mount right cam sensor bolt here which is so just a one eight mil one ten millimeter bolt there that's the job for today. The job for today was just get the head off, but it's 11 o'clock, so it's engines running about. It's 11 o'clock, so we're well above schedule. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we'll get the timing chain already in today, get the head skin, then get it back on tomorrow, and we'll get it all built back up tomorrow, and then done, so, yeah. All right, so I bet Adam that uh, I'd have the head off by two. So I think I've got an hour. I have got an hour to get the head off. So I've just pulled off everything around this side. So all the airbox, all the electrical, all the ECU connectors and all that crap, all the intake. Uh, just pulling off the thermostat now. So there is the thermostat, which we will probably change because that one is <laughs> disgusting. Uh, but other than that, it's just removing everything from the head so I can just lift it up. So thermostat just come out there. Um, so pretty much now it's just the intake side and then I can lift it off. But I know it is quite tricky, um, but... So we're gonna send it. Right, so I just had the scariest thing of the uh, of the job so far. Trying to get this tensioner off. It's like literally like in the worst position ever, right behind the the oil filter, right at the back. And I've had to have a selection of different tools from different sets. Uh, and I had like a the bar with an extension with a wobble anyway. Boom! I thought I snapped some it, but lo and behold, it's it's actually coming it's actually coming loose. So. That was scary, but it was good. Because it's like, there we go. So there's the wobble head. <laughs> so tension, I should just be sighing now. There it is. Chain tension there. Woo. Look at you, eh? So uh, we didn't need a tool because we had uh, the Adam tool. Uh, he basically just wedged the, uh, wedged the cam. So the chain didn't move. So now we've got the cam bolt off. So now what we're going to do is hold the, hold the chain here because we don't really want it moving for the time being. We don't want it dropping down the bottom, although we are going to be doing that. Knock the cam sprocket off just a little bit and then just dangle the chain. So drop the, drop the cam down a little bit and just dangle the chain off that. And then we can pull the cam out and then we can pull the rocker arms off, cam off, head off. That's pretty much it. We need to take off the, uh, the intake bolts at some point as well and the exhaust bolts as well. So the uh, exhaust manifold needs to go away, intake manifold needs to come away, and then we can basically lift it out. So, yeah, let's crack on. There we go. 
Right, there's two 30 millimeter bolts holding on that heat shield, and the 10 millimeters holding the manifold on. I don't know how many are. It's hard to see. I'm just going along with everything in my hands. Good thing is, once you get them loose, they actually just come hand loose. So it's looking now. We've got all the intake bolts off there. Just trying to free the intake. Everything off there. Thermostats out. And need to pull off this horn, uh, and then the throttle body, and then I'm pretty sure that is all about to lift the head off. Actually, I'm lying. We need to take the the, uh, the guide rails out. So, luckily enough, because the engine mounts, so if you can just pull the engine forward and the socket does fit between there, otherwise you would have been a bit fucked. Mate, why is it always the fucking 10 mil that goes fucking running off? So yeah, chain rounds, and then finally the rocker arms and the camshaft. I feel like I'm insane, oh, the rocker arms and the camshaft. That's gonna be coming off next when it's fucking not been. It's like one of those jobs where it's like, the more you do, the further the away you get from actually the end. It doesn't make sense, but trust me, it does, because you do something, it's like, oh, no, there now. It's like, oh, hang on, let me take the throttle body off. Oh, hang on, let me get this off. Oh, hang on, let me just get these studs out, which is fucked. Ladies and gentlemen, I will confirm, it is time to remove the rocker arms and the camshaft. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a picture of just the orientation of it. Um, just so we put it back together, I know. 10 more bolts, now these are under stress, so we're just gonna do a bit at a time and work your way out and then <laughs> right That's too long. Too long. Hit, but yeah, also just... this one here's got a bit of wear on it isn't it? it's like that low beard it's got a bit like you shouldn't have that look at that yeah oh shit yeah. oh yeah feels like the uh just for the camera it feels like what a worn brake this would feel like it's got a lip on it hasn't it yeah i don't understand why it's picked up like that but... mm. right so just need to pull the bearings off they should just pop oh there we go should just pop off hopefully these aren't fucked <laughs> seem all right there she is there she is everyone so i'll get the main camera and i'll show you the pitting there we go so See the lip here, that's bad, that's really worn. Also, there's lots of pitting, um, and there's one of them. See all the pitting here on this one? See all the pitting in there? It's rough as well. And all the pitting on this one, look at the back side. Makes it focuses. All the pitting there, that's quite bad. So, probably will be a new camshaft, but the rest of them are fine. But hopefully, get a cheap one, or I'll see how much the uprated ones are. Um, but as you say, I'm trying to keep this on a cheap build, but as you get, it's a good time to do a cam upgrade. Um, and apparently they're quite a good horsepower increase from them, so apparently they aren't worth the money, the mini guys say. So yeah, let's just crack on uh, and I'll do some research tonight on cost. Right, so it's 10 past two. We're just about to take off all the head bolts and pull the head off. So we're just behind, bit behind schedule. We wouldn't have been if I didn't come into that issue with that fucking stud, but nonetheless, the head's off. I'm going to speak to Adam and stuff and see what the best thing to do is next. So I start, you know, I might best me to just start changing all the rock cover gaskets, take the head to get skimmed if it does, which I'm pretty sure it will. Um, and then obviously speak to Adam. We'll do the we'll do the timing chain. I'm not sure if we're doing the timing chain now or when we've got the head back, but we'll speak to them geezers. Oh, well, let's get the head bolts off. Bit of time in a star pattern. Star pattern. I don't really like the fact that I'm using a multi-point spot sp spot. Uh, socket but they're coming all right so i'm very intrigued to see the head gasket it'd be good to see if we have like one piston which is like super clean god it stinks so bad <sighs> yeah it's like burning it's like burnt shit that's what it smells like right here comes the fun part Luckily, it's actually better that I have kept it on the jack because I've managed to push the engine back. Yeah. There she is. Oh. Woo! 
<laughs> right. Yes. Oh. Woo. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, I'm gonna pass the pass the uh, pass the gasket up. Got it. It's not too bad, does it? Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Not not a huge amount, but yeah. Yeah, it's gone across here. Okay. Now when my mate did his, he's he had all the coolant channels here. They were like all corroded away. Yeah. It's not too bad, is it? No, not really. Yeah. No, it's not it's not bad really considering the mileage you need. No. I thought it was gonna be worse than that, but yeah. So would that be okay to reuse? Yeah, yeah, we'll basically well we'll skim it. Skim it, yeah. Get it skimmed and uh So even with that channel there we'll be okay with it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not because what well, it's not going across the gasket, is it? No, so, no, no. no, that's still fine. Yeah. Right. So we're now off to take the cam to, uh, off to well, the the head uh, to a place around the corner, and they're going to skim it for us. So that's where they all get their own head work, and they all get their own head work at this place, and it's pretty, it's a decent price as well. So we're going to take it there now. Uh, come back. We need to source a cam. The cam is fucked. So uh, I've asked a couple of people who. Uh, no mini stuff around here. I think this head's gonna be back tomorrow. So we're gonna be putting the head back tomorrow. So ideally, we need a cam tomorrow, but let's drop this head off, get back, uh, clean the block, uh, and then we're gonna put together a change over all the gaskets and stuff, make sure it's all ready, do the timing chain. So tomorrow, uh, ideally we just put all the engine back tomorrow and we should be up and running tomorrow. Right, here we go lads. Let's go and drop this head off. Right, so we're back at the garage, just got everything lined up. I've actually found a new cam, so huge thank you to you, mate. Um, I'll, <laughs> I've got your name just of now, but I'll say it again when I pick it up in the morning. He's going to pick up the cam. He's actually giving it for free because he doesn't need it, so absolute legend. I've done a little bit of tidy up with the bolts and stuff. It's actually not too much to really go missing, so he says. Uh, but everything's there, all the new gaskets are there. I'm just going to clean up the block now, so just as a bit of a before, that's the block before. So I'm going to give it a bit of a clean, some brake and clutch cleaner, and then I'm going to sandpaper it just a very, very, very light amount, just to, just to flat it off at the top. Uh, I haven't cleaned the pistons. These guys are just saying, although it's you know, although it looks really fancy and being clean, it actually doesn't have very much positive benefit getting them spending that much time getting all the pistons squeaky clean. So I took off the wheel, which was annoying because I didn't have the working wheel nut key. <laughs> uh, what was that laugh for? Fucking hell. Um, just peeled back the wheel, the line arch. I'm putting that there. We now have access to the crank. Uh, so I think the next move is take the timing chain off and get the new timing chain in and then obviously um, time it all up when the head's back on. So I think that is the next move. For the camera I've just been rotating this just to make sure it's the first piston number one is top dead. So go back a little bit. Yep. There? Yep. Okay. Right, so there we go. It's the end of the day, guys. I'm actually taking their van. Uh, just huge thank you to ADS Autos for letting me use their space, obviously. Uh, they're really close to uh, to a lot of us down here in Essex. I say us, but <laughs> haven't just moved here, but I say us with the green light, guys. Uh, so, and they've actually just started their own Instagram. Obviously, me and I have been saying... Adam's been saying this for ages, and I've said it a few times. You need to, you know, you need to get the Instagram, get on it. And they have, they just made the Instagram today. So if you can give them a follow, that would mean a lot to me. I know it's at the end of the video, so I might not, a lot of you might not see it, but I know that you guys, uh, the people watching all the way through, are the, the hardcore ones. So please drop them a follow. The Instagram will be on the screen now. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go home. Uh, I'm going to start again tomorrow and hopefully get it started tomorrow, if not most of it back together. So I'll see you in the morning.